guys, it's Pepper3344 here with my next review, and this is my first Hero Factory 2.0 review that isn't a mock, and this is the only villain I have from the 2.0 series, the Fire Lord. Um, the instruction book is filed away somewhere and I was too lazy to get it, and the box is thrown away. So. Let's get into the review. We'll start with the helmet. This is basically the helmet. It is uh, round about same as the Hero Factory 1.0. It's got a little peg in there that attaches into the top of these Iron Man heads or the uh, Glatorian heads. Now what's unique about the Hero Factory 2.0 villains is this is Fire Lord's face on one side, flip it to the back, and we have Drill Dozer's face. So that is ma a major downside, but you do get two masks in one. And that actually hasn't been seen since uh, Vizon's head, where it was Paraka head, and then partial mask of life, or light. And for the head, it's basically, just like I said before, red, translucent, Iron Man looking head from the Glatorian series. Then he's got these two things jutting out of the side that form spikes. And just about all the villains have these. I've heard people call them villain cores. That really isn't an accurate name. Because they do go on the heroes in some of the 3.0 sets. And this red one was actually supposed to go on... Inferno 2.0, but that was before the release date, so they did change the design. Let's see if I can get it back on here. We have basically the skeleton right there. It is a the largest one. Orange. Way bigger than the uh, Hero Factory one, of course, since he's the main villain, he needs to have all the bigger parts. And then basically the under armor from the heroes. And then the two smallest pieces of armor, number three I believe it was, from heroes, those are also clad in silver. He's got these, he's got four of these unique armor pieces. They are the largest size of piece, which is six. And actually, I really love this piece because it kind of looks like there's kind of looks like he's got lava coursing through him or something. Uh, even though the fire the fire lord isn't the best set that you can get, but he has very good mock parts. Move down his arm, and we have that piece right there. And then he has two of these silver Hero Factory 2.0 hands. And let's take his hand off real fast. He has a kind of like a gunmetal, dark gray Zamro, or not Zamro spears, uh, Thordak launchers or Thordax launchers from the Glatorians. And then he's got a fireball or a lava-colored Zamro sphere. And he's got orange legs right here. I really wish they would have had like more pins that they would use so that way he could have armor along his legs and his legs wouldn't look as weak. 
And here on his leg he has two more of these pieces. Then he has four of these. These are also the largest. They're just gunmetal gray. And his feet are not really that impressive. Basically just two Fantoka hands that connect two leg pieces. And it's the medium piece of armor and it can basically swivel. It has these uh, Glatorian, three of these Glatorian neck pieces on each foot. So let's turn him to his other arm where he's got Ferno 1.0's weapon. And this is actually one of my favorite weapons from the 1.0. I got the uh, Ferno 1.0 just for these weapons to use as mock parts. Anyways, another gray hand right there, and a Batil wing. I think these were on the Mystica. I think they were. Uh, basically, Batil's wing right there in gunmetal gray. Whip him over to the back, and we have Drill Dozer. No, we just have his leg coming apart. Leg joint. Don't know how that came apart, but he's going to look a little worse once I'm done with this review. Uh, basically the back, nothing really impressive, just what you would expect to see on the back of a uh, Titan. Exposed, exposed pieces where you see how everything fits together in the back and how, how everything is secure. But an impressive thing in the back is he's got these jet packs with these unique pieces of armor and fire. Those will be especially good in mock making because you know, they can either be chess pieces, they can be armor pieces, heck, they can be fit onto a wrist and being used as flamethrowers. Let's put those back there. Something that I really hate about this set that a lot of people do with the Titans, the Hero Factory Titans, I believe it's on all of them, is, I can put it back in here, okay, just give me a minute, you can see right there, the joint, it doesn't allow their arms to go all the way back, just forward a little bit, and then not back, so, if you do get this set, for the set itself to keep together, I would recommend when it's telling you to build these, build them, but don't put them on. If you're building it for a review, uh, then just leave them separate and review them separately and say that that's you know, a bad thing about them. So overall, this is mainly a set that I would recommend just for mock pieces. Because that is what I'm going to use this set for now that I've reviewed it. Uh, basically, playability, an 8. Mainly, be well actually, scratch that, 7. Because the jetpack and these pieces can get in the way. And then you've also got these uh, joint pieces that are a real pain. Uh, Part-wise, I give it a 10 because it has very useful parts that you, know, you can use on like a 2.0 mock or a villain mock.
Um, I actually would recommend this only for people who just want the parts. For people who want the set, you might get a little disappointed with it. Being you know, the legs aren't armored, and then you've got these joints, as I've said. But overall, it's a pretty nice set. So this has been Pepper3344. Don't forget to check out my Pepper Games channel. And I'm signing out. See you for the next review.